All right, guys, we are about two weeks out from the presidential election. And we're all kind of expecting there's going to be some level of disturbance, right? Whoever loses is going to be unhappy. And some folks are going to probably do ill-advised bad things. <laughs> I, I think in the minimum case, that'll be put down pretty quick and we'll move on but my base case is that we'll probably have some level of unrest at least through the end of January minimum so like you guys I'm thinking about you know what should I be doing to prepare for that uh, I'm gonna have to do a series on things instead of putting it all in one video I'm gonna make short videos on each specific thing so let's get started all right, guys, let's start with the power. Now, this is my battery-backed whole house solar power system. I built this about eight years ago, and we've been running this thing pretty hard ever since. Uh, it took me about eight weeks to build it. It's pretty complicated, actually, and I wouldn't recommend this for the average person to try and put this together. However, things have changed a lot, guys, um, in eight years. So all of this stuff here that's so complicated all comes in a single box now they call an all-in-one right so you just take the all-in-one bolt it to the wall and then you plug in your battery bank plug in your panels and you got it I mean, almost anyone could do it uh, you might maybe you get up to the end and have an electrician come in and button it all up for you but I really highly recommend that you go to an uh, a whole house solar power system like this it makes a really big difference right now I spent twenty six thousand dollars on this so yeah it was expensive um, but I run everything I run three air conditioners 24 7 pool pump all the TVs computers refrigerator freezer water heater I mean everything runs off of this we probably burn a thousand kilowatt hours a month on average through here so uh, you can see like right now we're pulling in about 10,000 watts off the panel uh, this is what we're burning in the house the battery's at 36 percent was at 17 this morning so I mean I use this thing right but um, but if I were doing this now I'd probably go with and I'm not pushing any particular product here okay there's a lot of different stuff you could go with um, it's just that most people I talk to are like, oh, this salesman came by and they want $60,000 and it doesn't have a battery and your power goes out when the power's out. It's like, guys, don't do that. <laughs> you know, I, I don't recommend it anyway because most people just don't know what's available. Uh, I'll just throw out one example, okay? The uh, EG4-18K uh, backed with a, like an EG4LL rack-mounted batteries like this. That's six of them. 30 kilowatt hours. EG418K puts out 12,000 watts continuous and takes 18,000 watts of solar input. I mean, a system like that, you could probably get out with like $12,000 maybe. Um, Twelve to $20,000, depending on how, how much you build it up. I mean, guys, I really highly recommend you go that route. You know, then tie it all into your house with like transfer switches. I have three of these. So this system is completely seamlessly uh, running our house. We had three hurricanes in this month, or yeah, in the last this year anyway. Uh, what was it? Debbie, uh, Helene, and Milton, I think. Uh, three hurricanes, and our house, you know, we lost power for days, but now, you know, this just kept it going. Our lifestyle probably reduced by 20% overall. We didn't have the overall big air conditioners we did run three window units and mini split uh, we didn't have as much hot water we didn't dry our clothes you know just a few little things but basically it's just really uh, okay so I'm probably harped on that enough let's say for whatever reason you're like yeah that's great but uh, gee I can't afford that or I'm a renting an apartment and they're not gonna let me do it. there's like a hundred reasons why maybe you can't do this if that's the case, then I would suggest looking at something smaller like this. This is an Opus. There's, there's a bunch of different 
uh, people who make this. I actually really like this Opus. This is probably my favorite unit that I've tested, um, mainly because it's pretty big. It's got three kilowatt hours of battery backup. It'll do over 3,000 watts, I think, continuous. Uh, I have to look that up, but um, and it takes, I think, 2,100 watts of solar input, you know, and you can do a lot with that, guys, a lot. And you're looking at 1700 bucks for this unit, maybe 17, 16, 17, 18, something like that. And then you add the solar, you add some cables and this, that, and whatnot, and you're probably going to be at $2,500, you know, and that's not bad for what you get. And it's portable. You plug it in and charge it, charge it with the sun. Um, and that's great. That, that, you, most people could use this. Even if you're in an apartment, you can use that, right? If you can do this, do it, right? EG4s or something like that. Super easy. All in one, bolt it to the wall, plug in your battery. Hardest part is putting the solar panels up. You know, if you can build a rack, you can do this. So anyway, that's basically what I want to say about the solar. Now, whether you have this guy or this guy, you're going to want to back it up with a generator. I got three or four, I don't know, three or four generators that I use to back this stuff up. If you got this one, you'd probably get a small inverter generator. Run it for a couple hours, recharge the battery, and you're back in business. You're not burning all your gas, you know. You're not standing in line for six hours to buy gas when the gas stations are all empty. Uh, just store up some fuel. We'll talk about that next. But let's take a quick look at those generators. All right, guys. So I'm going to try and keep these short. So we're going to end this one right here. But thanks for watching, and we'll get into those generators on the next one.